let's now register a data source to scan its metadata on this Azure Purview account. To do that, you have to go to the data map on the left side and click on register. When you register a data source, you have to make sure that you are registering under the right collection. For an example, let's say we are going to register the Azure Data Lake Gen 2 and I want that to be registered in such a way that any collection under human resource or even human resource collection can scan the data or the metadata from the data lake. To achieve that, you need to register that data asset directly under human resource because once you register the data lake under human resource collection, then only all the children of this human resource collection can scan the metadata from it. And let's say you have registered that data lake under test collection one. In that case, the parent that is human resource cannot access that specific data source. So please keep this point in mind when registering any data source. And one more example can be that I want my whole data organization to access the data lake from any hierarchy of this data map. In such cases, I should register the data source in the root collection itself. Once you register a data source like data lake in root collection, any hierarchy of the collections can access that specific data source and scan the metadata. In that case, both human resource and finance department can scan the data lake and access the metadata out of it. To scan the data source, first you have to register that data source on this data map. To do that, I will click on register and I will search data lake gen 2, which is this. Click on continue and I will select the subscription. Right now, I do not have a data lake storage account. So I will go to Azure Purview portal. I will open a new tab and create a new data lake gen 2 account. I will search storage accounts. If you already have a storage account, you can skip these steps. But if you do not have, you can follow along to scan the metadata. Click on create. And I will select the source group as online training sessions. Storage account name would be ST demo ADLS. Okay. This will not accept the hyphens. I will, I'm, I have removed them. Let's select the region as central India and select the performance as standard. This would be LRS. Click on next. All these are fine. I will select the hierarchical namespace to make it as Gen 2. I will also enable SFTP, but this is not required for everyone. Click on next networking. I will keep this open for the public. Next. All the settings, I will keep it as by default. Next encryption is fine. Tags, I will ignore. Review and create. Let it create the data lake storage account and then we will continue. The data lake storage account has been created now. Let's go to this resource. Click on containers. I will create a new container here and name it as uh, maybe sample data. Okay, I need to remove this and put a hyphen here. Click on create go to the sample data container and I will upload two files here. I have added two files that is health.csv and address.xlsx. Click on upload. The files have been uploaded to data lake. Now we will access these two files on Azure Purview. Let me show you the schema of these files. Click on edit. It have many columns like average cover charges, average total payments and uh, many other columns as well. The Azure Purview will scan the metadata of both of these files 
and the columns as well in the data catalog and then we will see various options under the catalog itself. Let's go to purview now. Click on refresh. It should open the storage account. Yes, it has. Click on the storage account name and it has by default taken the endpoint. Now we have to select the path of the collection. I want this storage account to be accessed for the scans in the Azure data map by any collection. So I will create or register this data source in the root collection itself and click on register. We can see that the Azure data lake storage account has been added or registered under the root collection itself. If we click on the details, there will be no assets as of now that have been scanned. In the next video, we will start the first scan in Azure Purview account.